back with Coach Fell this week as we get right ahead into the playoffs. First time since 1999. Let's go back last week, though, and talk a little bit about that game at Whitmer. Tough conditions. What happened out there? Got our butts whooped. I mean, it was as simple as that. Didn't play very well. They played well. And, uh, you know, hey, we're moving on. It's time for the playoffs. Did the weather have any factor for you guys? Oh, sure. Yep. Didn't seem to want to play in the cold and the rain. So hopefully we'll have nicer weather this week. But at least now we got a game under our belt that way. So we know what the conditions are like and we'll be ready to prepare a little better for it. I mean, how do you bounce back from those two, two losses at the end of the season? What, what's been the focus this week? Well, you know, we're, we're concentrating on the fact that we won eight games and got us to this point, you know, and that there's 75% of the schools in the state of Ohio are done. You know, they're playing basketball or wrestling or whatever they want to do, and we get to keep playing football. So, you know, take some pride in that, and, you know, we get a home game, so we're excited. Let's talk about Friday. I mean, what do you know about Harrison? Well, Harrison's a football team. They're all the way down Cincinnati off 275, and, you know, it's a couple hours to get there, two and a half hours to get there. They have a real nice quarterback who was the player of the year in their league last year. And they've got a nice running back and a, and a big-time receiver that way. They're, they're big and physical, and, uh, you know, I think we may, if we have an advantage, it would be with speed. What, what's the game plan? What are you focusing on this week to get ready for that game? We're going to score a lot of points. Um, not real impressed with our offense last week, so we're going to put it down and put, put some pressure on and see how many points we can put up on the board. If you, if you get through next Friday, what are, th what are things looking like for you guys in the next couple weeks? Well, uh, you know, anytime you move on to the playoffs, it's, uh, you know, you got ne the next game would be between the number one seed who's playing the number eight seed, Cincinnati LaSalle. And they're probably a team that's going to win that game. So if we can win this game, we'll be playing Cincinnati LaSalle. A lot of excitement right now in the school and the community. What's that been like for you, taking this team to the playoffs this year? I, you know, it's tough as a football coach because you don't really notice all the stuff. You know, I, I couldn't tell you how many we have in the stands and stuff like that. But I do know that it's exciting for these young men. And, you know, as a coach, you're just kind of working and you want to – you're in your own little zone that way. But for the for the kids, you know, you can tell they're excited about being in the playoffs. they got a little bounce in their step that way. You know, practice, we're practicing everything over the stadium. So it's a little different for them. And, you know, they, they know they're doing something special. And, uh, you know, first time in – 15 years, it's, it's a good experience, that's for sure.